Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Uh, so, recently I've been talking with a lot of couples um, who seem to have kind of the, some of the same, some similar like issues, right, in their relationship. And sometimes the issue that a lot of couples have in their relationship is they they, they want to, like they want to be pure, right, in their relationship. They want to um, really truly love each other, not use each other physically. Um, yet they find themselves doing what they don't want to do, right? They find themselves getting into trouble, like falling with each other, essentially. And so a lot of times they'll either contact me or we'll meet here and say, what do we do? Because we feel so powerless in this. Should we break up? Are we supposed to like, what are we supposed to do? And I got a couple things to say about that. Number one, it's fantastic and phenomenal and really great that you're both united in wanting to love each other, not use each other. Well done. Number two, um, do we need to break up? Not necessarily. I mean, if the rest of your relationship is really healthy, you're good for each other, you help each other out, you lead each other closer to the Lord, except in this one area, then it's this one area that needs to change, maybe not the whole relationship, right? So, so give yourself a little breathing room here, but something needs to change. I'll talk to couples say, but we, we've been praying and we've been, you know, we go to confession, we fall, and they're like, nothing we do helps. This is where I come in. <laughs> nothing you do helps. Well, tell me their script. This is the question I always ask. Like, what's the script? Like, where are you? And, and when is it? When does it happen? Because it probably doesn't happen just randomly any time of the day or night. It probably doesn't happen just anywhere. Probably a specific place or a couple specific places and some specific times or general times. And so usually it's like, well, you know, I guess we kind of do fall like, what's an example? When I'm driving her home to her apartment from my place. Like, okay, just anywhere. Like you pull up to, pull up to her house and you're right there in front of the, her parents, you know, driveway and like right there, that's when, like no, no, no. Usually what it is is, you know, um, on the way there, like I turn down like a kind of dark road and park and then we go. Or we go to find an a abandoned parking lot or a dark parking lot, go to the far corner kind of a thing right there. Like okay, okay, so the issue isn't the car and the issue isn't just it's because it's late at night and you're being chivalrous and giving her a ride home. It's not that you can't say no in the heat of the moment. That's not the moment to say no. I mean, it is if you get there, right? The moment that you need to say no is the moment right before you flick your blinker on to go down that lonely road. That's the moment. That, that is the moment to rewrite the script because you know this. You know, you know how the script goes. I flick the blinker, drive down the road, park there, and then here's, here's what the rest of the script says. But if you can actually stop and rewrite the script, because that's to stop in the middle of the heat of the moment, right? It's, it, that's very difficult. It's difficult to give a no then. But to say no to flicking the blinker and driving down that road is far, far easier. And this is, this goes, this is true for even someone uh, by themselves. Sometimes a lot of people will contact me. They, they struggle with purity. And they say, like, nothing I can do. I'm just like, it keeps hitting me. Like, I'm, I'm good for this much amount of time. But then, you know, I'm good for nine days. And that tenth day hits and I'm just, I'm taken out at the knees. And like, okay, so when and where? What's the script? I was just, just going to check my email. And so I opened up my laptop to check my email and step one, step two, step three, step four. And it led to, you know, bad stuff. Or I was just, you know, I pulled out my phone because I wanted to just scroll through Facebook or Instagram and then all these pictures and then it led from A to B to C to D. And in the heat of the moment, I couldn't say no. That's why I say, okay, rewrite the script. Say no before the no gets too difficult. Say, give the easy no. I know that I'm talking right now about just kind of sins against purity. But it goes, it goes for any, any sin where we, we find ourselves going back to this again and again and again. Typically, the only reason why you and I aren't better, right? The only reason why you and I aren't more free from sin is because we just don't want to be. I know that's kind of like, wait, what? Uh, but it's, it's true. Because God's grace is abundant, right? God pours out his grace in every single moment. In fact, um, St. Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, as chapter 10, verse 13, he says this, he says, no trial has come against you that's not common to all people, that everyone doesn't experience, everyone experiences. But he says, God is faithful and he will not allow you to be tried beyond your strength. But with the trial, he will also provide a way out so that you may be able to bear it. Say, you know, no, not, that's not true because I'm in the heat of the moment. I can't say no. He's not giving me a way out. Okay, your way out was before you opened your laptop. Your way out was before you, you know, turned the blinker on. Again, the only reason why you and I aren't better is because we don't want to be better. We're not willing to be courageous enough to say, you know what, this, this is part of my script. If I take this part 
of my script out, I will rewrite the script. Be courageous. Be bold. And maybe that new script will lead you to more and more freedom. Now, here's the last thing. I will talk to people about this, and a lot of times, whether it's couples, individu individuals, and one of the things they, I find that they want to do is they want to make themselves the exception. Well, I guess that's fine for you, but like in my case, you don't understand. In my case, I've got this and this and this in my life. I say, okay, almost any time we try to make ourselves the exception to doing something virtuous, it's usually simply an excuse. That this is too difficult, I don't want to do, to do that thing. I believe in you, I know you can do it. That, that sense of like, you're not the exception, because so don't make the excuse. Just because you can't do everything doesn't mean you can't do anything. So please, my brothers and sisters, please don't claim powerlessness when you're not actually powerless. Don't claim a certain victimhood. I'm a victim to my sinfulness when you're not truly a victim. Because in some ways, yes, life is bigger than us. Some ways that brokenness in our heart is bigger than us. Yes, I, I understand that. But if I'm not willing to do the stuff that I can do, if I'm not willing to say the easy no's, then I just am not really willing to be free. I don't really want it badly enough, but I think you do. What you need, what I need, what we need is courage. Because we have the grace. The Lord keeps giving us the grace. Now all we need is to make decisions with boldness and with the grace of Jesus Christ. You can do it. Rewrite the script. Become free. Become the person God wants you to be. And if you're dating someone, the couple God wants you to be. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. <music>